Good morning, Messiah Church family and friends. My name is Ann Crawford. I'm chair of the Church Council at Messiah United Methodist Church in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. This morning, uh, the scripture for our daily devotion comes from Galatians 3, verses 27 and 28. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. It's a funny thing, but I, I don't consider myself to be old. I mean, I'm 65 and will turn 66 in May, but I'm pretty healthy, and I think I have a younger outlook on life. Nevertheless, all the information coming out on who is most at risk for this coronavirus indicates that by age alone, I am in a higher risk category, and therefore, I am somehow weak and vulnerable and need to be especially careful not to do anything that would risk my catching this virus. This comes home to me every time another store announces special hours for seniors to shop for necessities, and I realize that I'm in that group. It also comes into play when folks call for volunteers to do things and go places for seniors, and I realize that people don't want me to go out for them, but the other way around. It all gives me a curious sense of age discrimination that I've never felt before. It makes me feel somehow less capable, less of a person. Into this uncomfortable feeling of somehow being less just because of my age, I thought of these verses in Galatians that remind me that where it counts, I am not less at all. None of us are who are one in Christ. That is one identity that does not depend on our age, race, gender, abilities, or anything that might pit us one against another. No, we are all one in Christ. That is reassuring. When we get messages that would have us believe that we are weak or somehow less competent or worthy on any level, it doesn't curb my desire to be of service to others, but for now, I'll just have to channel it in ways that don't require my physical presence or proximity to others. I know whose I am and that we are all one in Jesus. I hope you do too. Let's pray. Gracious God, you have called us to be one in your son Jesus and to do with, away with labels and preconceived notions of who is worthy of your love and who is worthy to be your disciple. Give us strength to use our gifts, whatever they are, in your service. Let your love shine through us, whether we are on the front lines or working behind the scenes. Amen. Have a blessed day.